You know, Steve Young tried it, and uh, Troy Aikman tried it, and tonight, Sybil Shepard and Joe Montana, four-time Super Bowl winner Joe Montana, will try to throw a football into a moving New York City taxi cab. <laughs> Are you guys pretty excited about this? I am really excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but then again, I guess it could be the bus fumes. Uh, Joe will be out here, and we'll see if Joe can't toss a football into a moving New York City cab. We had Troy Aikman from the Dallas Cowboys, and we had, of course, Steve Young from the 49ers. Neither of these two guys, neither of these two quarterback big shots could accomplish it. So tonight, right. we'll see if a four-time Super Bowl champion Joe Montana can't do right. it. That's it. That's just a taste of the excitement coming up later in the show. It's because I cut my hair. That's right. <laughs> All right, right over there, a right. hundred bucks. Can I stand up? Yeah, you can do anything you like. Here we go. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. This is a souvenir. I, I broke in the system for you. Oh, yeah, you can have that. So now this would be great when Montana comes out here. Now. Yeah. Well, hell, I could have gotten one in there. <laughs> easy, 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 easy. It's a new haircut. Be careful. <laughs> Yow. You know what we've decided to do, if you don't mind, since Joe's coming out right now, you can stick around if you like. That'll be fun for you, don't you think? Oh, yes. Also, we have the videotape of you mashing my foot at the beginning of the program. But really? There's something interesting about this. There I am. I'm talking. There are you. I don't know what you're doing. Smash. Here it's coming right here. Oh, no, there. No, no, no. There. And then she's looking down to see the crushed remnants of my foot. And I just keep going. And by the way, Sybil, here's the hundred bucks over here. <laughs> Buy yourself a shoe. All right. You thought I was cheap. <laughs> Our next guest led the San Francisco 49ers to four Super Bowl victories, considered by many to be the NFL's greatest quarterback. And making his first appearance with us here tonight, look at this. Watch this piece of work. Look at that. This is like magic. There you go. Please welcome Joe Montana. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Are you excited about the big uh, New York City cab uh, quarterback uh, challenge a little later? I, uh, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea you felt that strongly about I can't, it. Well, if I look at it this way, I can't get any worse than anyone else's now. Well, you know, Troy Aikman, Mr. Big Shot Troy Aikman couldn't do it, and uh, Steve Young could not do it. You, tonight, you can do it, pal. I, I had... <laughs> how, long, how long did you play in the NFL? Well... 17 years. 17 years. Yeah. And I noticed that you walked pretty well right across the stage. <laughs> and it's an amazing thing considering the number of injuries and the kind of injuries that you sustained during your career. Uh, any come to mind? I have a list of them right here. <laughs> any any one of these. Oh, this is crazy. 
Uh, bursar <laughs> sack removed. That happened back in 88. Yeah, that was what, the old elbow. Uh, it's that's, like a, this hangs down from your elbow, looks like an egg. And they, they take skin. it out? Well, they, first they drain it a few times until every time you bump it, it fills back right. up. And they go in and take it out, and it grows back again. So I don't know why. So you now know you don't have one in your right no, elbow? It's back again. Do you have one over here? I got one over there, Oh, too. it comes from being injured? Yes. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, hitting on the astrotype. Now, this one, I've never heard of this one before. And no. this one, good Lord, this one must have made you see stars. In 86, <laughs> September of 86, you had your spinal canal widened. Well, actually, what happened was I blew out a, uh, a herniated disc. Yeah. And uh, while they were in there, there were bone, uh, bone spurs growing right. up against the nerves, so they had to go in and shave them all back and widen out the canal. So somebody just said, while you're in there, widen the canal. Yeah, clean it out. Why not? We can get ski boats in there. <laughs> well, I might as well. Uh, you were concussed against the Giants. What is that like? I don't think that I've actually ever suffered a concussion, what do you feel inside there when that happens? Well, actually, you don't feel anything for a while because you can't remember. <laughs> uh, it really, the, the best way to describe it was the last one I had actually was in Buffalo, and it felt like a streak of lightning went from one side of my head to the other side, and... Uh, I've had that happen in Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I have too many times yeah. there, but it, it, it's a strange feeling, especially when you get up and you can't remember even where you live. And how long did that last, that particular effect? Well, it lasted probably, oh, good way into the fourth quarter. Oh, my for, God. From right into the start of the third. Do, do you ever feel now or maybe when you were playing that regardless of how much fun I'm having, regardless of how much success I'm having, regardless of the money I'm making, it's all just too silly? Did you ever, did that ever come to you? <laughs> Well, it did, and that's why I retired, yeah. finally. <laughs> but, no, while you're playing, you don't, you don't. I mean, I've played the game since I was eight years old, and it's all it's really been to me ever was a game. And finally, it started to become work, and uh, I start worrying about my health a little yeah. bit more, and four kids, as, as you've seen in the book there, right. and, uh, uh, and a wife to take care of and, and, and have a lot of fun with. So I figured it was time. What, what about the... Uh, the... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but you made a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> what about that shot that uh, Boomer Esiason took a week ago? I know exactly how he feels. I mean, the same guy did it to me. <laughs> oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. In Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, did you ever get the feeling the guys were gunning for you more than maybe you would like? Well, I think there's always that feeling that when the quarterback is what they get paid to, to go after. Yeah. And when you're standing there, you're very vulnerable standing still in the pocket. And there's nothing you can do about it. You have to, to make a living, you have to stand there as they're coming right at you, like the cab coming at you, step into it and throw it. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Joe. If you don't... The, the cabs are not coming right at you. <laughs> you well, that's a relief. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. It Maybe feels like a cab. <laughs> we just race the cab right at it, the guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, did you or teammates uh, cheat ever? Can you do any cheating in the NFL? Well, guys never really cheat. I mean, they, they bend the rules a little bit. We had a guy one time... Um, he bent the rules a little bit. We had a, he was on the kickoff team and came down. And everybody was on the pile. And they thought there was a fumble. But what actually happened is he reached under there and he grabbed the guy by the crotch. <laughs> and he said, I'm not letting go till you give up the ball. Wow. <laughs> Next thing you know, we had the ball. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, And that, that could be like a regular play, couldn't it? Oh, yeah. uh, go deep and grab the guy's crotch. <laughs> what, what can you tell us about this? This looks like a very impressive piece of work. This is uh, you, your life, and career in, in pictures? Well, yeah, I think it's just uh, try to encapsulate one, uh, in one piece of uh, literature there, everything that's really happened to me through my life. Uh, the fans are always asking about my family, about how I grew up, what I did when I was growing up, and about the career. And, we tried to put all that in the writing and with some great pictures. Yeah. Uh, with some of the family, which we haven't done in the past, try to keep that as private as we, right, we can. Well, there you go. There Thank you. you. I was this is, you this is as good as we can do tonight. <laughs> okay, now uh, we have to do a commercial. We'll go out to 53rd Street and throw oh. some balls. We'll be right back with Joe Montana. All right, folks, we're out here on 53rd Street. Are you ready? Are you psyched? All right, easy. One second. Coming up on the uh, program later tonight, Joan Osborne will be here tomorrow. Oh, my God. Richard Simmons will be here tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Uh, Laura Dern and uh, also the Mavericks. Now, you understand how this works. We're all going to fire at once. 
I'll call for the cabs and just throw when you feel it, all right? Okay, okay. Are you ready? I'm high. You folks ready? All right, here we go. Send in the cab. Here it comes. All right, anytime. Oh! All right. Send in the cab. Here we go. Oh! Is that who is it? Who was that? It was, was that? I thought it was me, but All it was right, probably Let's check Jill. the tape. We're not sure who did that. Bring in the cab. Here we go. So you mean that could have been you? It could have been me. Oh! Oh, oh my God! What, what a night, ladies and gentlemen. All three of them. Let's load that up and throw it again. We'll be right back. Thank you.